Hi everyone, me again. I just wanted to update you with my little project for January. This is the HGUC Zaku 2 Kai from the War in the Pocket series. Remember this white one was featured in the first episode and I think the last episode. Yeah, he's um, first impressions. I think he looks kind of like a clown, you know, red and white, but I modelled the design off the Zaku Kai Valkyrie type from the manga Plot to Assassinate Garen. That's a pretty good series if you've not read that. It's actually Gunpla in in it, it or Zeonpla, as a friend of mine said. Said it's really fu quite funny. The selling model kits in a Gundam manga. It, it just tickled me. Anyway, back to this guy. Let's zoom in. See the mono eye? Painted, painted the mono eye. I think it did a really good job, fluorescent pink. Very heavily decaled. When I was uh, designing this guy, sorry, the Zachary Valkyries are blue and white. This guy's red and white, because when I was designing it in my mind, I found decals on eBay. And the decals are actually red, as an example. This is a kit I think I actually did a pretty good job of doing metallic white on. So I thought, I can't paint him blue, then put a red decal on the shoulder. I'll paint him red. And I think he came out really, really well. These markings here are from Master Grade, that guy. In fact, I think all these decals are Master Grade. The paint, there are four colours I've used. Well, five if you count the pink mono eye. There is my good old go-to flat white. I did that, I used him for the shield, the torso, and the waist. Otherwise, I used Dico style multi-purpose spray paint gloss for everything else. This is a really, really nice gloss paint. I used this before on my Freedom real grade. Not this colour, but that make of paint. I, I get him from Aldi for two, three pounds. Really good, really good paint. If you've got a local Aldi, keep going in. I keep saying that. They do some great spray paints in there. So, the um, other thing about this kit is the hands. I need to be very, very careful because these are the B Club. I think they're not B Club, are they? They're Wave. Yeah, Wave. Or something like that. Someone tell me. They're the like real grade hands, they're fully somewhere between real grade and two plastic grade 2.0 hands, but they are fully articulated. And can you see that? I painted those knuckles white. I painted the primer with all the with all the joints bent and straightened them out, painted it red. So now he's got kind of like I think the uh, master grade red frame has that effect as well. So all the red. All the red for the joints and the mechanical part is metallic red. Not a very good metallic red, but nevertheless metallic red. However, the weapons, the umbilicals, the feet, and the shoulder, that's just a basic gloss red. The stripe is hand painted with my good old Citadel blood red. Just hand painted that in. And everything got matte coated and some satin and dirtied them up a little bit. Now the main feature of this kit, why I built it and why I wanted to experiment with it, not just for the hands, not just for the painting practice, you know I can do that, I can do that, it was for the weapons. This is a standard weapon it comes with. 19 mil sorry Facebook, 19 millimeter machine gun, which I battle damaged up, chromed up. Now we can hold it and I'll show you I'm holding it in a minute. But if it will do it. But it won't because I'm on camera. Never does. And now I've dropped it. Excuse me. Where is it? Oh, come on. Oh, there it is. It has fallen right down the back. So I do beg your indulgence for a moment. There. Sorry about that. Focus. There. And magnetized to the shield. And if we can get it. The other way, I think. Do I have to do it this way? 
can never remember the so uh, is it that way? Anyway, the shoot the gun has got th it's got four three millimeter magnets in it. Four three millimeters. The shield has got four one millimeter magnets in either side. I drilled out holes, put them in, and on each side I put a layer of very thin plow plates. Can I show you where the power plate comes in? Is it visible anywhere now? Well, it's, it's kind of visible there. You can sort of see that line. Anyway, so their power plate is in there, sealed. Then I put the underside. Then I painted the underside there red, and they are thoroughly sealed in, in there. Then the other weapons, because I bought a Kodabukia Scythe weapon set. Because as I was designing this guy, I looked at it and what you got there? A scythe. And there, a scythe. So I immediately went up to my Death Scythe Hell Kits, 1144 kits. I went, no, I don't really like them. And I know I just built the Death Scythe EW. Well, I'd already ordered these kits before and they were sitting on my to do list before that. So I didn't want to waste the money. And uh, there we are, there's a scythe. Because this kit doesn't naturally come with a scythe, I thought, well, why not make it look different? Yeah. Why not make it look a bit different? So I've given it a nice wood effect. Painted that out to be metal, and I gave it the uh, yellowness of a heat hawk. No beam weapons with the sky. Gold. That's um, one of those MS panels from the HD Builder series. For and that just hides the magnet. It's got a one three millimeter, one or two three millimeter magnets in there, and that can stick. Oh, so there were also right here. That's plar plate. They're actually magnets in the top. Because originally I wanted these to separate, except it broke. The staff, the actual staff broke. It's very thin. And the staff broke as soon as I tried to take this out. Not the first time, not the second time, not the third time, but a time. It took out and it kind of scratched the paint up a little bit, which I don't mind. It looks weathered. But nevertheless, these are staying together now because I do not want to break it again. And they will live. I can do this when I'm not on camera, I swear. Anyway, it'll live there. Or it can live there. Or it can live there. The other thing I've got... Are machetes, machetes, shotels, daggers, whatever you want to call these things. I got them there. Now, originally, see that black mark? Get the light, that black mark. I glow on my hands when I touched it, but I liked it, so I'm keeping it. The other side, brown handles and black. Quite nice. So really, that's all there is. Um, manipulator fingers, magnets. Oh, and they live. This should be easy. They've got, have they got one? Yeah, one millimeter magnets in. And they've got magnets just literally glued to the underside here. Let's see if I can do this with one handed. There, there. And they live there. But they're just being a magnet, they can also live on the shield. And it can also go the other way around. Yeah. There, if you want to. So we can equip that. Backstory for this guy is with the Zakukai came out very late in the one year war. This is a 0081 unit or 0080, 0081 unit. Sort of guerrilla unit after the war ended and he got into his own thing. So yeah. He was entered in the Gunpla Builders Showcase HG contest. He didn't win. Then again, I don't want to sound bitter. I'm not because I didn't initially initially design him to enter the contest because the contest was on at the same time. So I thought, why not? But I knew I wasn't going to win bringing a Zaku to a Gundam contest. But who cares? I actually did win something. The uh, it was a lucky prize raffle thing, and I got. A Shiranui weapons pack from Build Fighters Try, which hasn't come yet. It's, it's in the post, but I am really grateful. And I really want to thank them all for that. For that, they didn't have to do it, but they did it anyway. 
So yeah, really grateful for them for that. And I'm going to use that in a, in a coming custom at some point. Still design. Sorry, this video is going to be so jumpy. I've just run out of storage space on my phone. I had to delete something. So anyway, just to finish up, thank you very much for the Gumpla Builder Showcase group on Facebook. To them, go ahead, join them. Absolutely fantastic group of people. This group of people. And um, that's about it. I'm going to leave you with the pictures that I took for it because I did a really bad job showing off this kit now. Really bad, I know. I'm using I'm only one-handed. So... I'll leave you those pictures and I will see you guys soon. Don't forget to, uh, oh, of course, you look at your YouTube ending, you like, comment, anything like that. Go ahead, do, do, do your thing, and I will see you soon.